When Health Minister Ong Yi Kang invites elderly residents in his ward to visit active aging centers, I will emphasize to them that everything is free and we will belanger treat them. Their faces, without fail, will always light up. Perhaps at their age, and living alone, very few people invite them anywhere, said Mr. Ong on May 3, as he shared with community care workers how he engages with seniors living alone during his weekly home visits in Sambuang Central. One of my pet activities is communal dining. I believe that food has a great ability to bring people together, he added. I have been nagging our resident committee's RCs to work with active aging centres AACs to implement weekly communal dining at the void decks or RC centres, where it is very convenient for seniors to gather to prepare food and enjoy it together. Speaking at the Agency for Integrated Care AIC Community Care Work Plan Seminar 2024, he stressed the need for AACs to have better outreach, more interesting activities and stronger partnerships with community care groups to take good care of our seniors and keep them healthy and active. Singapore is rapidly aging, with one in four people set to be 65 and above by 2030. But even before that, by 2026, the island will be super rich, which is when the proportion of the population aged 65 years and older reaches 21%. In fact, seven of the island's 24 regions are already there, Jurong East slash Boon Lay, Clementi, Bukit Mera, Ang Mo Kio, Serangoon, Toa Payo and Geelang. Mr. Ong said AICE will share data with AACs on where seniors are living so that the centres can mobilise volunteers to knock on doors and befriend them. There are currently 208 AACs, which are drop-in social recreational centres that extend support to seniors living nearby and provide them with the opportunity to build strong social connections, take part in various activities and contribute to the community. Mr Ong said one in five AACs has engaged more than 30% of the seniors in their assigned populations, while about 50% of the seniors do not visit these centres. As they are already engaged in community programmes or have their own social activities. The number of seniors engaged and taking part in AAC activities each year has increased from about 17. 000 in the 2021 financial year to more than 49,000 in 2022, and 2024's engagement is expected to far outstrip 2022's. He also noted that many AAC activities are going far beyond the stereotypical programs. NTUC Health AAC has robotics coding sessions, while Montfort Care's Good Life Studio in Bukit Permia has carpentry and woodwork training, which will help to attract more uncles. He said active ageing is not a new objective, as his ministry had implemented many programmes, but none as comprehensive and far-reaching its H, well as G, a multi-ministry programme rolled out in 2023 that focuses on preventive care through measures that keep seniors active and social. H, well as G, is for the long term, covering all parts of the island, with deep intervention in communities, and will be well resourced, Mr Ong said, adding that his ministry will disperse about $100 million to the AACs in 2024. A significant jump from $60 million to 157 centres in 2023. We also need to get seniors to volunteer under the new National Silver Guardian Programme, he said, referring to an AIC initiative to get to. 400 seniors, called Silver Guardians, trained by 2028 in areas like befriending other seniors or organising activities at centres near their homes or workplaces. The minister said AACs should also leverage and synergise efforts with other organisations that are already actively reaching out to seniors in the community, such as the People's Association, Health Promotion Board, 
Spot SG, religious organizations and interest groups. In the same spirit, AACs should not confine activities just within the four walls of their centers, but make use of all spaces in the community, void decks, fitness corners, coffee shops, parks, libraries, and community clubs. Many activities will be co-organized with other community partners. The number of seniors here aged 85 and above has risen by almost 80%. From about 36,000 10 years ago to about 64,000 today, and these older seniors will need a lot more support, Mr. Ong said. 60% of them are frail to severely frail, while about 78% have hypertension and diabetes. The health ministry's job is no longer sick care but to help them recover and get back to their normal lives after a bout of sickness. He added, We also need to help them remain well, active and healthy, leading dignified and meaningful lives. This is where AACs can incorporate a higher tempo of health services in their activities. Tapping the healthier SG network of general practitioners in the community as well as the public hospitals. The DNA of this sector is to do good together. We help one another as partners and friends, Mr. Ong said. The relationships with the seniors and cooperation between providers are core to the success of the community care sector. As their needs change, seniors may move from senior care centres or day care to requiring home care, nursing home care, or hospice and palliative care, and may be made to go through repeated care assessments at each stage. To smoothen the process, AIC is rolling out a common tool to cut down on or get rid of repeated assessments. A common care plan will also be developed for each senior who will have an assigned single point of contact to ensure information flows across all care providers within an area. Our seniors belong to the generations that built Singapore. They are our parents and grandparents. Most have already retired and are in their golden years. They deserve to age with purpose and dignity, Mr. Ong said.